The race for the crown between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton has only grown in intensity after yet another run-in between the two ended in a collision recently, and both Verstappen's as well as Hamilton's camps have been vocal about what really went down. But what does Australian driver Daniel Ricciardo think about the whole thing, and is there a decisive right and wrong person here? Let's find out. A quick recap. For those of you that are sitting at home confused about what happened, let me fill you in really quickly before we get to our good old Aussie's thoughts on the whole thing. Max is catching some flack for his role in a life-threatening collision with Lewis Hamilton, one in which the halo meant to protect Lewis did its job and then some, taking the full weight of the other car's wheel which would have had deadly consequences if not present. After the race, Max seemed more worried about making a case for why it was Lewis's fault rather than checking on the man he almost indirectly injured. The whole thing led to a lot of finger pointing and blaming, all of which leads us to Daniel backs for Stoppen. The Aussie F1 driver seems to agree with Max's account of things, at least when it comes to why he didn't check on Hamilton. For many fans, this has seemed to be the big sticking point from the encounter. They don't care whose fault it is or who should be blamed for the crash. Instead, most are just feeling a little uneasy about Max seemingly disrespecting Lewis Hamilton by not checking on him afterwards. Daniel Ricciardo, who would go on to win the Italian Grand Prix, however, has his own perspective. An interesting one, too, since Daniel and Max were teammates for several years. Max is a competitor. Daniel doesn't think in any way that Max Verstappen would wish ill will on him and that he's simply a super competitive person. Daniel took to the Pardon My Take podcast to defend his former teammate, talking about how Max's wheel got on top of Lewis's car. That Lewis reversing out of the situation was probably enough to signal that he was indeed okay. Daniel promised that if any driver went through an accident and didn't look okay, that every single person would run over there to help them out. Max and Lewis's past dealings. This latest crash has erupted across the F1 world, but this isn't the first time that Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen have butted heads this season. The two men have been at each other's throats for the majority of the year, with even Mercedes-Benz and Red Bull getting involved and taking some jabs for their respective drivers. Ultimately, this kind of behavior is only good for the sport, right? To a degree, yes, but the recent crashes that have begun to ramp up threaten to ruin all of our good times as things get more and more chippy and the race for the top spot continues to tick away. The previous crash, Daniel mentions Silverstone as a reason for Max to be upset, acknowledging further how complicated the relationship between Max and Lewis has become. Back in late July, Max had to be taken to the hospital following a crash that left the Red Bull driver Verstappen in the hospital with some serious damage. Lewis had collided with Max to initiate the move and although unfortunate, many took it as simply a bad piece of luck at most. It seems like Max has been unable to let this whole event go. However, since Daniel believes that the crash over Silverstone directly correlates with this more recent crash, some animosity left over. If you're Max and you wound up in the hospital because of a person that is only five points behind you in the race for the top spot, you might be a little annoyed when that person starts pushing you around the racetrack. If you're Max, you might even snub the guy when he survives a very scary crash. But does that mean that you'd purposely cause an accident as well? That's what a lot of people are trying to figure out right now. But friend, Daniel doesn't seem to fully believe that this was the case. He argues that F1 is a very complex sport and that overanalyzing how people react to tough situations can blind you to what really is going on. So Daniel, what is really happening here? Daniel's take on the crash. Daniel doesn't believe that what Max was trying to accomplish the turn and move that resulted in that scary crash was meant to harm Lewis, he said recently. Daniel doesn't even believe that it was a stupid decision. Instead, the execution was just poor, and that if the maneuver had been pulled off better, this wouldn't be an issue at all. What Daniel is saying could very well be right, and I don't think we'll ever really get a definitive answer on the issue. Honestly, it's clear, however, that former teammate Daniel Ricciardo believes that his friend had the best intentions. But is he alone in thinking that? 
the official decision. We will get to some people chiming in a little later, but it's worth noting straight up that the stewards for the race essentially blamed Max for the whole thing. At least that's what their actions on the day proved. The young star Max was handed a three-day grid penalty after the race, and while that may not be an official decision, it's clear that the stewards believe that Lewis had almost no fault in the incident, choosing to dish out a punishment exclusively to Max. The sanction will take place at the Russian Grand Prix and will cause him a minor hand handicap to overcome. Sir Jackie Stewart's take. If there's anyone who should be able to talk on the subject of driver responsibility, it's Sir Jackie Stewart, who much like the F1 world has been talking about the Verstappen and Hamilton crash as well. Jackie did not mince his words and clearly does not agree with Daniel's opinion that the whole thing was blown out of proportion. Jackie believes that Max is taking longer than expected to mature. Ouch. That's like when your parents say they aren't mad but just disappointed. Jackie he would go on to blame Max for not putting his ego aside to check on a driver who he literally drove on top of, and that Max seems to still be in the puppy stage of his career. The racing legend's words may pack a punch, but it doesn't seem like Max is backing down anytime soon. Judging from his words on the situation, Max chimes in. Max has been getting the brunt of blame recently, fair or not, and he's sick of the racing world taking pot shots at him, it seems. Max recently voiced his frustrations over the fallout of the crash and says that he clearly knew Lewis was okay because he jumped out of the car. The Mercedes driver was still trying to reverse from under him. Max called those criticizing him hypocrites, that sure are a lot of them in the world today. Not wrong there. It doesn't seem like the world will be getting at Max Verstappen's apology anytime soon. A parting shot at Lewis. With how their rivalry has continued, it would have been shocking if Max didn't take some time to take a shot at Lewis on his way out, which he did, sort of weird way. Max implied that he didn't feel the need to reach out to Lewis because Lewis was on a plane to America to go to the Met Gala, and so obviously he was fine and had no travel restrictions. Not to be outdone, Lewis returned fire with some of his own shots as well. Is the pressure getting to Verstappen? Lewis hinted at his press conference that it's possible that Max is feeling the pressure, and that this incident and how Max reacted to it is simply that pressure manifesting itself. This is a stance taken on by most of Mercedes, it seems, who gleefully have been playing the experienced and decorated vet while treating Max and Red Bull like children for the duration of this race. Lewis's jabs seem to have found their mark too, since Max sarcastically responded, yeah, fighting for a championship is the worst. This rivalry seems to be becoming as much about old school versus new school as it is about two competitors duking it out for the top spot. Something's gotta give. This race is really starting to heat up and the whole world seems locked to the TV for every race. It's hard to know who's going to pull this one out, but Max's five point lead should serve him well. As this is truly his race to lose. Lewis is crafty and has been here before, but Mercedes' commitment to the future instead of the present could pose short term issues for the team as they go up a young and hungry Red Bull team led by a fiery young driver looking to make a name for himself. It is going to be one for the ages. And that's our video today. Whose side are you on? The young challenger Max Verstappen or the perennial winner Lewis Hamilton? Comment down below and let me know. If you liked it, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Have a great one. Bye.